this is what my package came with. As you can see, this is the half brick of playing cards. This is actually amazing. This is a meant to be a replica of an actual squeeze. It's like a juice box. Um, the the squeezes V2 actually came in one like this. I heard that the um, the uh, changes besides this deck was actually they've in built it actually thicker and bigger so the the cards could fit in there easier. I know that the half brick box for this deck was very tight and it was hard to get the cards in and out. That made improvement on the box. I hope you guys enjoy that trailer as much as I enjoyed making it. Let's get into the Squeezes V3 by OPC review, shall we? What you get with the half brick package. Now, I think this was valued at about 45 US um, and about, I think it was like $15 for shipping. It's, it's pretty cheap for Australia. Um, so, what you get first with your half brick is you get one, two, three, four, five, six stickers. Now, these stickers actually slightly smell like grapefruit. Um, and also at the bottom, you'll also receive a slight sense oh yeah that still smells like grapefruit it's just a slight sense it's nothing like the snackers v2 how it was covered in that disgusting smelling perfume it's just rightly been scented it's not too strong and it's it's not too weak um, it's perfect so that is pretty much what you get it comes with six OPC decks oh oh, oh. I just swallowed my gum. Um, I probably should be chewing gum while I review decks. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, it comes with the six stickers, the six decks, then the half brick box that opens and closes, saying open on this side, and then having open on the other side, making it like a carton, like this, um, and then having again the nutrition, just like the back of the tuck, which we'll get into later. The side having OPC, which is actually a special puzzle into the OPC logo. And then again, just saying no artificial colors or flavors or preservatives. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the half brick box. I hope you guys uh, like that because I know I kind of actually really like the color. In fact, this is my favorite OPC deck they've released so far and I'm going to get into why. I know some people didn't like the color of the tuck or how it's been, um, how they've made it, but I'm going to tell you why it's my favorite. Let's get into the review. Before we get right into it guys, I just want to say I had so much fun making that trailer. If you can see, the, the reason why I love this deck is I am so inspired by the colors. I literally can just chuck this deck anywhere and I automatically am inspired by the background colors. You can pretty much put this deck literally anywhere and it'll be a good photo. I'm putting out, um, follow me on Instagram, I'll left a link down below. There's actually some really dope cool photos I took with this deck. So if you want to see those, go ahead over to my Instagram because they will be all there. Um, and I do weekly, actually daily posts of magics and uh, high quality photos of playing cards. So you can also follow me there. Um, but yeah, guys, this is the review. This is the place to see this deck in action. I'm not actually, haven't actually seen, I've seen heaps of reviews for this deck. I've seen no one review the Tuck. Um, sorry, I've seen no one review the half brick box, so guys, I think I am the first in reviewing the half brick box. Um, yeah. So, and I believe this deck sold out in four hours, and it's a print run of 5k, 5,000 decks. Also, it is printed same as the new OPC deck, which was before this, the previous one, which was the Pillars V3. These were printed in the same stock, which I believe are... Um, I think it's, uh, let me fill that, I think it's B, B stock, uh, uh, B crushed stock, <clears throat> if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, they're printed in the same stock, feel amazing, um, and we'll get into the handling later, but they are printed in the same as these, because I know a lot of people love the handling of these, so I don't think they're going to go back to the thick stock they used to use in previous decks. 
The front of the tuck looks like this same squeezes, just like the other squeezes decks, uh, having that nice splash of juice, grapefruit juice, 100% on the front. On the top, we have a nice color shade of it. On the tongue flap, saying it squeezes and having the straw poke at the top, which says insert straw here, very, very detailed. On the uh, side, just like the half brick box, we have no artificial flavors or preservatives. Uh, light pulp, light pulp, I think that says, yep. And OPC, pretty much everything you need to know about the deck, which I have already said is 2023rd edition, one of 5,000, designed by OPC, playing card company, distributed by Riffle Shuffle, blah, 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 blah. Made in USA and OBC and then their site. And that is the back of the tuck having the nutrition label. Having saying serving per size is 13 cards. Serving per container is four. Amount serving calories, 56. Basically, it's all like all the cards. So 56 cards with the jokers plus add cards um, at 13 cards because 13 times four is 52. If you see, they've put that there, which is a very nice detailed look um, and also there you can see it says ingredients paper premium stock linen finish cellophane wrap water and grape fruit that is a beautiful tuck case that's pretty much everything I can say about the tuck let's look at the cards Whoosh! really quickly just giving you a nice close-up on the tuck case Alrighty, oh, woo, look at that, look at that color, it looks beautiful, I act, oh wow, the sun is out, anyway, sorry, I'm getting distracted, my window is open, looks amazing outside, in Australia, Queensland, where I live, g'day mate, from Australia, that was probably Aboriginal more, anyway guys, so the, uh, the back design looks like this, yes, I am from Australia, in case you're wondering, um, the back design looks like this, having a nice thing, whiteboard going all the way around, having the beautiful pink grapefruit, not really grapefruit, it's more just like light pink in the background, having the sliced, and yes guys, we finally get a bit of detail on the back, it's not just a fruit, it's the dribbles coming down on the grapefruit, that's why I love this freaking deck, um, I'm just spouting my card, dang it. Anyway, that is the back design. It's pretty simple, yet it's kind of complex. I like it a lot, and I hope you guys like it, because this is, again, my favorite OPC deck out there right now. So, and there is 10 decks in case you're wondering. Um, let me just think about that. Hey, wouldn't it be cool if OPC made a, um, a, uh, like, a, you know how Orbit has the, uh, the Kaistricon CC deck and then the other deck after uh, V V7s. Wouldn't it be cool if they made something like that OBC, but it wasn't actually part of the um, pattern? I don't know. Maybe that would be cool. Um, also, I'm looking forward to in the future seeing if they're going to be putting a tuck seal on any of their decks. And also, let's pause it right there, guys. Also, guys, when you get a half brick box, um, I think it's 11 decks and down, you get one passport and one passport sticker. Also, if you get a brick, so 12 decks, you get two passports and two stickers. Um, unfortunately, uh, Riffle Shuffle actually forgot to put the stamp again. They literally did that in the cards as well. They literally, every time I order from OBC, uh, not OBC, sorry, Riffle Shuffle, they always forget to put the stamp in, which is fine. They're sending me another one after like three emails probably about 15 actually sending photos back and forth. Um, actually, I don't know why they ask for photos because I could have just taken it out, which I didn't, but like, I don't know what the point of sending photos is. Um, just like an empty package because the sticker wasn't in there. Anyway, so they're literally just sending me a small thing this big all the way from, um, they're sending me like a piece of plastic from the US to here. So um, that's annoying, but I'm gonna get my um, stamp in the, um, so it's gonna all work out and yeah, so that's pretty much what you get. Let's get back into the review shall we? Yeah, so that is the back design guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I like the back design Very very sexy looking deck of cards talking of sexy actually. I've got a very nice uh, Third way industries deck of cards uh, review coming out. I think the day before or after I'm not sure um 
Yes, I'm, I've got a little warning actually on that coming up. I won't get into that because this is an OPC deck review. But basically, the face cards, the numbered cards look like this, having the nice, like almost like a metallic sort of ink. You can sort of see the shine on that six of spades. Um, and the black is actually light blue, and the red is red. Well, it's like a pinkish. You can sort of see that in the light. I don't know if that's showing up. But yeah, that's pretty much the numbered cards. And the aces, again, are just like that. But you do get one custom ace of spades. As always, just saying squeezes and it's meant to look like an upside down jug of juice. In this case, grapefruit juice. I don't know what grapefruit juice would actually taste like because I know the yellow ones are actually very sour. But the, I think... Yeah, I had one the other day, actually, when I shot the trailer, I actually ate the grapefruit after, so no food was wasted in the making of that trailer. Um, it tasted really good, by the way. Thanks for asking. <coughs> and... Da -da 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 whoops, sneaky peeky. Um, the face cards, we're actually doing this backwards. I normally show the jokers first, but the face cards look... Actually, I'm going to get up there so you can see. Whoop! Yeah, there we go. Uh, yep, there we go. Gosh, I thought that would never focus. Okay, Jack of Diamonds having a, a um, little man in his... No, it's a fruit in his uh, mouth. Jack of Clubs, Jack of Hearts, Jack of Spades. Drinking some uh, pot... Uh, not pot... Uh, whew, anyway, having some Queen of Diamonds. Da, 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 da. Holding some uh, bags of grapefruit, grapefruit juice. Oop, he's holding it there. Dribbling down. Look at that little effect. He's squeezing oh, half one there, half one there, making a hole... And yeah, that's pretty much the face cards. Let's get into what the jokers look like. In this deck, you will receive one and two identical jokers that are dribbling down. Literally make you want to dribble when you look at those. Don't you want to just go, oh. Anyway, they look beautiful, don't you think? Don't you think they look beautiful? Yeah, 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 of course they do. Um, yeah, that's the jokers, guys. And oh, look at that spin. Look at that spin. Does that look good? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, that's the Jokers, and also having the Joker in, uh, blue on the, on the J, that's, um, uh, started my name, <laughs> and you also get a double back, a perfect for magic tricks, and then a duplicate eight of hearts. And now, guys, hot damn, maybe, you're probably wondering what is my rating for this deck, and you're probably also wondering, let's unsubscribe, this guy's a weirdo. Anyway, moving on, guys, this is my channel, so I can do whatever the heck I want, so just sit back and relax. I am rating this deck, I don't care what you guys say, I absolutely love the colours, I'm not just saying that. Um, I love this deck, I literally love this deck, this is coming top five deck for 2020 for me, like, I, I love this deck, this is, this is my favorite OPC deck um, and yeah I'm so happy with this deck I'm so glad I brought a half brick they are sold out um, I wish I kind of got more but then again it's just a perfect number perfect sort of seven decks one open six sealed yeah, you know, nice for the profits. Joking, nice for the um, cast removes. In future, we're going off sidetrack. We're going off sidetrack as we normally do, but I'm going to rate this deck. Drum roll. A plus. 10 out of 10. There is literally nothing I hate. There's, there's, I, I, I tried to look. I tried. As a deck reviewer, there is nothing, nothing I don't like about this deck. I literally, like... Yeah, the face cards, eh, 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 the numbered cards, dude, I love them. I literally, I don't know why I got the deck and I, I just, I can't say, I'm speechless. I, I, I love this deck. 10 out of 10, I don't care what others say, I'm rating this deck 10 out of 10, my review, my rate. Um, honest review, no bias. I do like OBC, but that is not a biased review. Uh, like let's say for example, I gave the carvers, I think it was a 7 out of 10 or something. No, no, no. 5 out of 10. Not sure what it was, but this best OPC deck out there, trust me. Um, it feels amazing. It looks amazing. It sounds amazing. And yeah, guys, I would probably go and give you a coupon code and say go buy them, but they're sold out because they are a very popular deck of cards. Um, that's pretty much everything I can say about the entire deck. I hope you guys enjoyed my review 
And uh, go check me out on the socials. I've left my socials, my uh, YouTube account, because you're on my YouTube right now. Um, if you haven't noticed, if you if you haven't noticed, then I would go see a doctor straight away. I'll probably go to my Instagram and DM me, and I'll, and I'll help you actually through that. Um, actually, if you got this far, I dare you to go to my Instagram and DM me. <laughs> It'd be funny just to see, you know. Hey, can I um, book a doctor's appointment? Anyway, um, you can do that. I will respond 100%. I'll probably be a little bit confused because in about three weeks' time, this video actually goes popular-ish. I'll be like, what the heck? Why is this guy wanting a flipping doctor's appointment? Um, can we just get this? I'm oh, sorry. Hang on, hang on. Hey, hey, how's it going? Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that review. Um, and yeah, outro. See you in the next one.